fail. What is going on guys, Bo here. So today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do some color correction on your wallpapers in Photoshop. I'm going to show you how uh, to get from a super saturated character that doesn't fit into your background into a desaturated character that fits well in any background pretty much. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So you're here in Photoshop now and uh, I want to show you how to get here pretty much uh, starting from there. Uh, so usually what you're going to start with is a super saturated background or a super saturated character and they don't fit well together. As you can see this character is really purple-ish with some grey and the, ca the background uh, is super orange. So you don't want anything like this because it's really hard then to make something realistic uh, with something that unrealistic. So the purpose of this story is obviously to um, create a, a more harmonized background color-wise. So uh, let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is desaturate both your uh, character layer and your background. So uh, you're gonna obviously create a adjustment layer which is gonna be a UN saturation uh, adjustment. So uh, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna create it on my character and I'm gonna select this button right here which is gonna make this um, this adjustment only affect my character layer and not my background. So I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to reduce the uh, saturation of my character and as you can see it only reduces the saturation on my character and not my background. So you're going to do that. Make sure you click this right here. It's really important. Otherwise you're going to have some, some bad times. So uh, yeah, I want to reduce the opacity of my character just a little bit because I don't want to lose all the colors. You know, I still want to keep the purple of my character. I want to keep the brownish uh, skin color on my character too. So uh, I'm going to reduce it a little bit, but that really depends on your character. If I had a paladin with some uh, challenge mode gear, which is really blue and yellowish, uh, you would maybe have to reduce the opacity a lot more and then uh, draw the colors back onto uh, the character afterward. But that's a completely different uh, uh, scenario. So in this case, I'm just going to reduce the, ca the character lighting a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the background. Uh, usually it's a little bit more uh, with the background if it's super saturated like uh, this one. So there we go, I reduce the saturation by quite a lot. So now it's really pale, uh, that's true, but then you can add the, satur the saturation in the color later. Uh, we just really want to harmonize the tone of, the, of both pictures right now. So uh, that's done. Next, on top of everything, you're going to create a photo filter uh, adjustment layer, which is here. I'm going to click on that and then you're not going to click the little button here. Uh, I really want to affect every layer in my uh, in my wallpaper. I want all of my layers to have this uh, the same color tone. So uh, here I'm going to create, I'm going to select, I mean, a uh, really bright orange or a really uh, hot orange uh, color since uh, there's lava in my background, it's just, it's fitting. So um, the color you choose really depends on the, the color in your, uh, in your backgrounds, but uh, yeah. So you're gonna select the intensity you want. It's really, uh, it's really to your, uh, it's really what you prefer. Um, so there's no, there's no good settings. It can be 100%, like it can be uh, 2%. It doesn't matter, it's really to your liking. So here I'm gonna choose uh, about, 35 or 40 percent and uh, yeah that's pretty much done so uh, as you can see it gives some uh, some orange lighting to my character and my wallpaper uh, not my wallpaper in my background and uh, it just harmonized the color a little bit more so now the back the there's some color lighting I guess effect on my character and uh, there's some color effect on my background too. So um, the color are more harmonized already. Uh, the color tones too, they just fit better together. But now I'm gonna create an effect that is really gonna create some contrast between the character colors and the background colors. So we're gonna create a new layer on top of all of your layers. And then you're gonna create, a, I mean, you're gonna select a gradient tool uh, right here. And uh, usually what I like to do with that is that in the color I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to select a, a color from my character layer 
any color from my background to harmonize the color. Um, that depends on if you want to harmonize the color of your character or if you just want to create a uniform color. Uh, so if you just want to make your background blue no matter the color, no matter what, like you don't care about the, ca the, the background color or you don't care about the, your character color, uh, you're just going to select the color you want. So if you just want to make your background blue, you're just going to select blue. But in this case, I really want to keep um, the purple uh, from this character and the orange from the wallpaper. I mean the background, sorry. So uh, yeah, I'm going to select, it's already selected here, but uh, I would select the orange from the, the background right here and then I would select pretty much the same purple um, as the purple here on my character and uh, then you're so you're gonna select a point usually I start on my character uh, and then I drag it further away from my character not too far because as you can see it's gonna create a circle like this and to create a circle like this I forgot to mention you have to select a radial uh, pattern on top here. Uh, you might select a linear pattern, but that's not good. It's going to create something like this, and you don't you usually don't want it. Uh, you want to create a more circular pattern like this. It just looks better, I feel like. But you know, you can do whatever you want. It just it always depends on the character. I mean, on the the wallpaper you're trying to create. It's never the same. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to create the uh, the pattern here. And then I'm going to select a uh, soft light layer mode here on the layer I just created the pattern on. So uh, you're going in the layer mode, select soft light, and then it's going to create something like this. So right now it's really intense. I'm going to reduce the opacity uh, by a lot, but uh, I just want to show you real quick what it does. Um, I select some purple from the character, but I, I applied it on the background. So. Um, now there's some purple uh, color in the background all around it and uh, there's some orange too in the middle on my character layer. So now there's some orange from the background on my character and there's some purple from my character onto the background and it's going to create some contrast and it's going to arm harmonize uh, the color from my character and my background and it's going to make something fitting. And that's what you want to create when you do color correction, you want to make stuff fit together and uh, that's what this effect is all about. It's gonna fit, make everything fit together. So uh, yeah, I guess the keyword is really fit. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you're almost done here. Uh, all you're gonna do is reduce the opacity here to your liking. Uh, it can be really intense, but usually I like to keep it subtle. So just like this, and uh, you can still see there's purple in the background. It's subtle, but it's there. And uh, there's some orange still on the character and uh, everything fits better together. And now, if you add some uh, some color correction and some saturation to your um, to your background to, or to your wallpaper, it just everything's gonna fit better together. Like if I add some uh, some intensity to the colors now, as you can see, it looks a lot better. The colors are fitting; uh, they are harmonized and uh, it's just way better all around. If I added that same vibrance effect um, to uh, this one, I'm gonna do it real quick. As you can see, it doesn't fit at all. Oops. There you go, as you can see, it doesn't fit at all. So it's just too intense, like the purple is just it doesn't fit, um, there's no orange on my character from the background, it's just, you know, there's there's no fitting colors, so it's just bad, but on this one, it just looks great. So, yep, that's what you want, that's what you want to create, and uh, that's how you make it. And uh, yeah, after that, it's easier to add colors on top of your character, do some more uh, color correction uh, to your liking, add some saturation and everything. Um, and yeah, you can go crazy after that, but that part is really important if you want to create a character that looks realistic lighting-wise. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, make sure to leave a comment, leave a like if you uh, if you liked it, and if I helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to tweet at me, leave a comment, or contact